top, but it's not like a, uh, you know, it's a scrimmage. It's just kind of like, hey, we're here. Okay. Well, let's just fucking get, roll it uh, normal sauce. You know what I mean? Or, I mean, just, just cover I'm it. Seeing, we don't need to do all the other stuff. I'm seeing icons. You got to hit icons. eight and ah. then nine. Come now, sweet. I'm not sure if you know this yet, uh, Doc, but um, you know, if you hit the map when you're in cam, you can't see where you are. Okay, yeah. But I can. I mean, we've. Yeah, we played enough. I can kind of, kind of guesstimate where they're at. We're looking. All right, so remember, we're doing uh, skirmish mode on this, so these. These guys are going to start getting in action really fucking quick. Yep. And I'm not recording, by the way, Rusty. Okay, I'm recording now. What's up? We're squad league. Uh, um, yeah, so today we're just going to be following around the Red Coats and the 303rd as they skirmish through. And uh, you can take a look at the rosters right here. We're playing on Logard Dawn. Probably going to be getting in contact pretty quick here. As the Redcoats move to the southern part of this town, you can see the 303rd taking compounds, moving down the streets. We'd like to welcome two uh, Doc East to the uh, to the announcing team real quick. We're uh, we're trying out a new thing with Squad League where we'll bring in uh, clan members, people that have been playing this game a lot out in the community, uh, to kind of speak to a lot of the matches that they've been into since they've been in these matches themselves. So, welcome Doc East. Good on, guys. Not a lot. Had to get some contact over here with uh, Russ UK and uh, Battleborn and Ted over here. Southern side yeah. or northern side of the map? Western side. Okay. They're about to walk into a whole squad. Oh, yeah. For three strong, can actually do something. Just let us know since you're the stronger force. They got a bit off a little more than they can chew here. Techno's coming in from behind right now. Looks like it's a clean house. Oh, hey, nope. one thing you're gonna have to uh, do, Doc, is um, yep. you, and you might already have it turned down, but <laughs> like I turned mine quite a bit down so that off. you can hear us like talking more than effects. you can the game. Yeah, because sometimes the effects will overpower yeah, everything. Help. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'm I thought Russ went down there for a minute. Yeah, yeah I almost looked like it. <laughs> I thought they were all down for a sec. I, I panned away and came back. Ah! Oh, no, Russ went down. Yep, Russ goes yeah, down. He Battleborn just went behind down. him. Ted watching behind him. They've got a whole squad in that compound uh, there with them. Yeah, they're all moving to the compound. Yep, Battleborn's bringing it back up, Did though, but ready? Battleborn's the medic. My clear, my clear, my clear. He's behind us in the building. I can hear him in the building to our left. I've got the south wall. Yeah, it looks like there's some more redcoats now coming up right. from the south. No. They're not too far away, just sitting in that compound. Looking pretty quiet over on South Central right now as well. It looks like Rossi's got his fire teammate guys right now. Making I don't know if they're deciding to push side. towards the attack flag or their defense right, flag. Right, right. I, make, I make some footsteps to get his attention. I make some footsteps. Where you kind of got to decide. The amount, of, the amount of guys that Rossi has over here, though, he's, he's got plenty of guys to push that, uh, that attack flag, South Central. You guys want us to try and do defense? Easily out overpower Hickman and his guys over here. It looks like, uh... Yeah, r yeah, you're right, Rossi and them, they do have the, uh... Pretty good foothold on the uh, the center of the town. Yeah. <clears throat> looks like for us and his guys. It looks like they're shifting guys back over towards South Central now. Looks like they noticed that right away. Hey, you know what, Rusty? Uh, yeah. Let's uh, out of character for a second. I mean, keep recording, fine. But you know, we don't even have to stream this. You know, I mean, oh. us how we want to cover this as we go through these matches. You know what I mean? Right. And maybe. and maybe use this as practice instead. Because I, I want to be able to step out for a second and talk about something we want to talk about. Because 
we don't have to Where'd be you live, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. No, I'm, I'm fine with like... that. I mean, yeah, even me too, people, I, I... even out of character, people will want to watch that for streaming. So, I mean, we can, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. that's true. People will get to see what we're, how we're trying to better ourselves, I yeah. guess you could say. You know what I mean? But what's hard about covering this right now, though, is that it's not, uh, it, it, the teams are mixed. You know right. what I mean? So it's like, uh, Russ on the red coats. Well, oh shit, he's not red coats right now. He's just <laughs> yeah, Americans. No, I, yeah, I get <laughs> you know, that. Or whatever he is. <laughs> it does look like Russ, though. Russ, Ted, and Battleborn are going back into that compound. Yeah, I see that right now. They Hold enemy squad in there. Yeah, they don't want to yeah. give it up. Maybe it's possible. It's it's possible. Absolutely. I mean, improbable. <laughs> their ARs down. SPQR's just in that uh little building right there. I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, yeah, Doctor, what, uh, when you play this map, what what are some things you try to look forward to? Wait, you talking to me? Yeah. Oh yeah. The effects. Um. Well, it depends. It depends on the player count, really. Uh. The the kind of the dynamics of the map kind of shift a little bit with the amount of people you have per team. Um, but like obviously, if you had more people, you can get more things accomplished and secure more around. But normally, what I normally see, and normally what I what I try to do is, uh, especially playing as is the U.S. in this case, um, I'll move just to the east of, uh, of the defend flag or South Central right now. Place a fob in there. You gain that territory. You gain that terrain. The hills to the east of South Central. You can you can pretty well control what's going on inside of South Central. At least yeah. in and around it, um, you can you can obviously you know, put a lot of good fire and you got a lot of good uh, good sight lines from up there. You can kind of distract them from that direction. But uh, like I said, that kind of changes with the amount of players you have. Kind of changes the dynamic. So yeah, for sure. Like this, like one squad versus one squad, you kind of going to see a little more up close and personal. Everybody just kind of getting in there because that's really all you can do anyway. Sure. So, but those those flanks, those western and eastern hills are are, are very key. I think. It doesn't seem that uh, my side, the U.S., they have no uh, no fob. You guys got a fob down? We do. Delta seven. Yep. Just southwest of uh, yeah. I tell you what, this is actually a good little map to do for a really intense fucking firefight, man. Yeah, if it was full uh, size. This, this, this skirmish layer. Yeah, this is actually kind of nice. Yeah. If it was full size or full full teams on both sides, it'd be really good. The, the only thing I wish it makes me uh, so they have this as a skirmish layer, which means 150 tickets. But like this would be a pretty, I think for competition wise, I, I think 200 is probably more the sweet spot because you know when they start because on skirmish there's no ticket bleed. So if you threw ticket bleed on top of a skirmish layer, you know it. This would be over fast. Yeah, well, absolutely. Like uh, squad leader rogue grenade here. Out those guys from South Central. If you if you tell two right now, if you look out to the west or east, sorry, you see Rossi Raider. He's taking that hillside, like I was saying, or at least moving up indefinitely from that hillside. Yeah, his whole squad's trailing along behind him. Kind of got grumpy out front. Hey, one of you guys fly near Ronnie Pickering. Uh, and then uh, local talk to him real quick and just say, uh, Chad says hello. <laughs> I got it. I'm on him. I'm going to whisper it to him. I'll see if you like. <laughs> It'd be funny. He's my buddy. He's going to be like, what the hell? Yeah, I just see him like looking around. What the hell? <laughs> Voices from above. Yeah, Rogue Grenade. Right, I told him. Rogue Grenade's getting the first uh, engagement here. But Ross has got pretty good foothold now. There's whole squads just in cover behind the rocks. Yeah, we're not getting any... Uh... Not getting a whole lot of map movement. So because of my team the, uh, uh, with no fobs... You know, they all just started oh, to spawn back out of main. Took a little and resistance to work. It looks like squad two east, is uh, got wiped out. trying to work we the defend okay. flag, and squad three is trying to work the attack flag. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we can hear over here on uh, comms that Rogue Grenade says he took out the contacts to the east, but there's pretty much a full squad up in the hills right squad. now. Yeah. 
would be good for Rossi right now if you if you were to drop back and place a fob back here. Uh, that, that's actually worked for me in the past. Drop a fob just east of that defend mark over the hill and defilade. Um, where they can't quite see it, and you scream guys into the south central real east. Ah, uh, you guys threw me for a second. Your guys are talking about your defend flag, and I'm like, yeah, sorry, yeah. what? South east central, of mine? South that's central. like I gotta, city. <laughs> I gotta say, I'll have to say, at the right <clears> No, 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 it, that, it, that's not you, that was me. Yeah. Just going, uh, oh, yeah. So, but then, like, so you going through this, Doc, it, it shows you um, limitations with the cam system and all these different things and why we need, like, one of the big suggestions we have, too, is putting the cam cam guys on a third team, essentially. You know yeah. what I mean? Because then you could talk in game and all that stuff. Like Parabellum and Philly about to score off. Yeah. Oh, now's a chance. Oh wow, that's nothing to Lucky the rogue grenade oh, had I'm his going. back cover, but Philly still goes down. Yeah. That's another thing too, you hear those you hear those reload cues. Uh, Philly reloading right there. Parabellum kinda of pulled back a little bit. He didn't see a rogue grenade. Yep. But uh that's one thing. Right. You hear somebody start like, reload? Russian. It's like the US assault um in progress on the cat flag for you guys. So we've yeah. got a lot of guys down. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Keep in mind we do have, um, looks like 9, nine versus 11 still. Ooh. <clears throat> Rusty K and his guys walking down North Central pretty well. Ooh, that's coming in that from Sands. Yeah, he's uh he's sitting oh, up wow. there yeah. lobbing uh rockets down in there. Dude, this stuff too, especially these compounds, is is frag grenades, frag grenades, frag grenades. Pushing up to you guys right now. A couple of well placed hand grenades just simply over those walls. Usually, you... get a couple of them. When it comes to uh, to smoke, do you like to smoke inside the compounds too to, to block their vision? No. The thing about smoke, smoke is kind of a it's a two way street. Obviously, um, I try not to smoke inside compounds if I can help it. Normally, um, same thing goes with actually wounded players as well. Smoke. You throw smoke at your feet when you have a wounded player. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It kind of you know um, it saves you a little bit, but you. not yeah. entirely. Yeah. However, that, 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 you're also that, saying, hey, I'm right here. Exactly. Here, highly, that, yeah, healing somebody. Yeah. Yeah, that, and also you're you're blinding yourself. Like you're taking away uh, your most precious asset at that point is knowing where the enemy's at. Plus, giving the so, enemy a chance, a chance to maneuver on you. So that's not how so, you guys do it in the real army. <laughs> no, no, God, no. You don't. You don't get a wounded guy and just throw a smoke grenade at your feet right away. That doesn't really work like that. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, and I tell you what, though, man. You know, you're you're active duty too. Uh, don't. I mean, if you ever have any thing that. That experience can speak to this. Certainly, bring that into the table. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> the red area, like militia taking those hills to the uh, to the west of North Central. Also, too, it doesn't necessarily not necessarily being on the objective means actually playing it as well. So. Yeah, I think a lot of people uh, think that a lot. That oh, to play the objective, you have to be inside the objective. You get the whole squad in there, you know. Yeah. He's down, he's down. I got one. Well, that, that, uh, that replicates into, especially with these compound objectives like, like North Central here, is yeah. people will, will, will fill it completely, and it, it turns into a an inadvertent super fob effect, basically. Right. I but feel like that's yeah, one of the one that's like one of the big differences right now with tactics between squad and PRs. I think people still playing PR realize that you can play an objective without having to be right on top of it. And we see right. a lot of different tactics coming from PR. So then in squad right. now, because squad has a lot of new players <laughs> still. And mm -hmm. uh, we're still kind of, re these guys are still realizing that, you know, you can be very effective if you have a good uh, firing position, uh, that you don't have to be right in the compound, that the objective's right on. Absolutely. Especially if it's in a position where you can limit, limit another squad's, an enemy squad's movement. Right. Because um, that's what it comes down to. You, you stop, you keep them, you, you limit their freedom of movement, and you can pretty much control pretty much control the map yeah we were doing that in that one map when we were playing uh op uh first light yep um you know when you control those ridges damn you it, as long yeah. as you get an effective squad too i mean if you get a True. a squad of busters <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, it's that's... like you're not gonna hold crap but but you know the very thing that we cover being squad league is clans that want 
to have good squads, you know what I mean? So right. we wouldn't see that as much, but yeah, the Buster Squad. <laughs> <laughs> you have to battle too, especially in public matches. Obviously in Squad League, you don't see that because everybody's much more coordinated. Apparently. Well, but... and, and as all these guys go in Squad League, they're only going to get better and better. I mean, you know, they think the intensity is high playing in these... Um, uh, exhibition matches. I mean, wait till we're playing a tournament. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's it's going to be insane. Or even internationals for that matter. Oh man, you know. We got. Uh, so what's the plan now? Do you guys just want to hold this? Militia locking down North Central. Hearing some squad. If yeah. we're, I'm going to keep half my guys here. I'm going to push uh, hey, with a couple so of my guys that, uh, to try and get a rally the their next attack flag. Announcers. Maybe try and get a quick um, uh, neutralize him. But other, you know, other than that, yeah, just hold this. Change. You know, and we didn't highlight it. Roger I don't that. think we I highlighted figured, it. yeah, just let him come to um, us and bleed him. But we need to, you know, that's something we definitely always have to highlight. Now, that'll be a lot easier when we start getting overlays from the devs, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah I just looked now, I was like, oh, shit, no wonder all the people are moving to different areas. The, the caps have changed. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, i got to constantly check that. Yeah, you do, and it, it's, it's tough to put the map in front of the... Well, for you and I, it's not, but for Rusty, that impedes the yep. the match right now. Mm -hmm. So, what I tell the what I <clears throat> requested from the devs in the background is that um, um, that the camera should only have to pull up the map if he's specifically doing it to speak to something about the map to the to the audience. Because otherwise, if you have all the stuff on the screen, you'll never have to pull up the map ever. Yeah. Quiet. So we got Japsai and Paravel sneaking up behind uh, North Central right now. Yep. I'm not sure how hey, by the way, I'm at 92 themselves. tickets. We're at 130. Okay. Like Russ is kicking out. I don't think he knows the Paravel and Japsai are back down there. Nope. Now these, the, two, uh, uh, these two teams are definitely split apart now. Entrenched in the, you know, the cap and D flag. The cap and defend flags. Oh, so you saw yeah. Russ there. Yeah, he just heard those shots. He he's was moving now, north right there. He was trying to take that ridge line. He's like now I was on the about. crowd. Yeah, bees coming oh, around shit. now. Yeah, look at these guys. Parabellum and bees. Parabellum's gonna, not gonna survive that. Yep. yep. Jap's gonna go get a face full. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yep. <laughs> yep, there he goes. <laughs> he walked right into that one. Yep. All right. And then the three hundred third now pushing down center now. The uh, I guess it's the militia more or less holding the uh, this compound still, and then the. I'm so used to that, just calling out the team names. Right. Uh, What's Russ trying to do down there? Are they talking? Yeah. About, are they trying to build a fob, or are they trying to no, scout no. out? They're too close to their, their fobs to in D7, which is just uh, southwest and north central. Gotcha. So what he was doing down there, he was taking that ridge line up there, like I was talking about. He's trying to get eyes down, and actually in the town, it looks like. And as soon as he heard those shots pop off behind him, obviously they, they kind of that was kind of a threat yep. right away because it's between their fob and them. And so it's coming in on the out. rear of them on that that. Flag. So that's what's going through Russ's mind right now. He's trying to get up on this hillside right now to kind of get a better eye on what's going on down there. And it's, it's a very, very good play. Especially with those three, they get up on that <clears> side, they can shoot them as they walk into, uh, to try and um, come into North Central from the north at all. So I got um, the Americans. Uh, well, it looks like they're, they're leaving one person. They're leaving Grumpy inside the, uh, the fin flag. Be you, the cat flag. But the rest of them seem to be trying to push on to take the the objective I mean, cap flag. East. Pretty smart. Sometimes it's good to, especially that's where you gotta kind of weigh the situation. Um, capping flags, leaving one person back behind on the defend flag is risky, but having them back there is a sensor almost in case they do start getting capped. You can push guys back to it. Um, yeah. But then you also have all those extra guys to push forward on the attack to put extra pressure on the enemy. So it's kind of a gamble. And it looks like yeah, coming around right now. Yeah, definitely would say. I mean, like I said, it, it can it can it could pay off, but oh, yeah. there's that gamble. If that one guy goes down and they got a whole squad, you can turn yeah. the tide of the whole match yeah. like yeah. Im almost immediately. I'm trying to think where they're coming. Yep. And then if, you're, if the other team is so yeah. far behind on the, the other side, it's like now they have to play wall. catch up to get back to the next defend flag. Russ pushing in on it now. Let's see how this goes. Grumpy might have seen him already. Rogue sitting here asking, you know, where the guy's at, and turns around. There's a full squad right behind him. I don't think he's yep, going to see Raider as soon as... And Grumpy about to take some. Yep. Rusty Raider. You guys start, about to as take soon as you see him start shooting, you're going to see those guys down south start to run north right away. Yep. They're going to expect. They're going to automatically assume it's going to be a full squad. 
up north up here. Yeah, Rogue's looking northeast, but he really needs to be looking southeast. They're uh, they're pretty far behind him already. Oh, shit. So, Gully just asked, you guys taking any contact down there? And they said, nope, we're all good. And here it goes. Yeah, they're about, about to get, get lit up. These guys are strong on their flank now. My uh, my comms are going to get lit up in a second. Rossi's about to go down if they... they If... Dips. Oh, here it goes. Here comes Russ. Rossi's SPQR. There went. Grumpy was down. Now watch watch them flush back north right away. Yep. So we got Grumpy now, up, up there. The and Grumpy's Dude, not they... even looking around to notice whether or not. They might be too far south. Dab sign pair of element all them. They're going to have to spawn from Maine and come in. Huh. Oh, crap. Yeah, so Grumpy went down too. All three of the um, we started neutralizing the militia next, side uh, of there. Flag, just three of us. See if we can get a sneaky neutralizer. Yep, Russ is capping. Roger that. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to man. flank around from the south right now. Continue to try and hold them off. I think that was no. Philly there that just got a double kill. That was pretty beautiful, sitting up there in the woods and just lobbed a. Uh, I think he was grenadier down on top of gully and chamber. Who were just about to enter that compound probably would have gotten a couple kills back there, but they were stopped short. We always see Japsai always on the guerrilla offensive. I mean, this guy's always flanking. He's like the master of the flank. Yeah. All right, here comes uh, Rossi and uh, Grumpy. They're gonna try to take back their uh, their defense. Line. I think they kind of pulled off it a little bit, Russ and them. Might be getting grumpy here in a second. Oh, maybe not. All right, Rossi, uh, just on comm, said they're capping north. So, um, now that, that might have been the official bat signal to get some of the guys to come back, you know? Like I said, those those ninja cap squads like this, usually there's, there's those three-man teams, man. It, it might be all you need to, to pull the pressure off an objective, especially when you're taking a lot of contact on those on your defend mark. Hey, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. You saying oh, that shit. makes me oh, oh here we go Rossi's about is he about to get taken down yep he, there, he yep. there he went yeah, um, so when we get fire teams introduced to the game that now you can take a squad and start building those little ninja teams you know what I mean oh, yeah. without having to have a whole separate squad you know boom cap 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 all right both uh we'll send Bobby everybody and up Rossi and we'll hold them at this one flank trying to get up. back on there only Doesn't thing seem is like though. any of the other guys are pulling back yet. Yeah, only thing now, though, is the only fob that uh, Militia has is down southwest is uh, um, at North Central. Um, so getting any kind of reinforcements up to Russ and his guys might be kind of sketchy. Because they've also yeah. got to get through that small squad in North Central now. Absolutely. Which, yeah. <clears throat> I think I'd be really cognizant of is is overextending your push sometimes. It's good when you have other squads that uh, that can can leapfrog past you or support you as you do it, but sometimes it just doesn't quite pan out. Went into North Town right now. Ooh, bees with the SVD. They've got that, they've got Northtown locked down. Now, Chad, do they, uh, does the U.S. have a fob up yet, or are they just uh, going off rally points down here south? They're just going down the rally points that are in the center of the town. Yeah, okay. Um, there's one right below, I'm guessing, is your defend flag now, uh, kind of the southeast to it, and then there's another one, like, dead center town. Okay. Not quite sure what they're doing in uh, <coughs> Central right now. Whole squad of U.S. in there. Rossi's saying that he's got two guys hunting for a fob. Uh, Delta 7 is where they're thinking it is. Delta six, Delta seven ish. Is that uh, is that where their fob is? Yep, it is. 
Yeah, well, he would be right then. Just south of Rogue Grenade and his uh, his squad down there. They would, they would behoove them, actually. It's uh, not, a, not a bad idea. They can drop down south right there. They got a whole squad in North Central there and kill that fob. That's, that's well, so we're that's... at 56 tickets on this side. 115. Militia. Uh, so here comes out of Maine for the U.S. side. They're going to try to start uh, the push, but I don't think looks they're gonna like make those it. guys got a pretty good... They're shooting right up the hill out of the main, so they're just seeing them come down. Yeah. Rossi got pinned. Rossi's still up, but uh, the rest of his guys went down. There's Parabellum in the back trying to come up. Seeing kind of a weird flip-flop right now. Yeah, hey, there's a bug on that. The map. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, 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 I'm not talking about the squads. Oh, okay. I was say the the triangles, there's a bug on them. Yeah, where occasionally a triangle will turn to a color that they're not. Like Rogue is taking his guys just straight past. He's not even gonna bother with uh, North Central at all. You know, something, watch, watching Rossi and them. Something I I'm wondering if. Oh, dang! That was a nicely placed rocket. Rossi went down hard on that one. But no, I was gonna say it. It seems like a, a tactic not often used is using smokes to fake in advance. You know what yep. I mean? Like, say, all right, hey, throw your smokes over in this direction, get their eye drawn over there yeah. while we go in a flanking maneuver on the other side. Absolutely. <clears throat> that works. Like, that, that in this works. position to them, to them to take North Town, like, that's what I feel like they should be doing, is throw smokes to the east of it, come around the north side, and try to uh, attack from the, like, the northwestern portion. Completely possible. We're now seeing the U.S. Wide. coming out to the southwest. I think it looks like they're, uh... They're looking for that fob. Yeah, they're looking for that fob. Gully's leading them. They're looking so, for those tickets. So, in the future, <clears throat> I, I, I know that there's ticket there's ticket changes coming. So, and I'm wondering how this is going to change that, where... To me, that squ you shouldn't have a whole squad up there fob hunting. You know what I mean? Like, they, they should be stopping the bleed and getting that flag back on that or else it, it you know it just ends so fast you know what i mean hello hello yes can you guys, hear, can you guys you. hear me yep okay i got you no but Full you think squad. it should be all hands on deck to get that north town back yeah right but since there's no ticket lead that's just not the case for them they're, they're looking yeah for those i know and, and and something that has been uh you know, I've seen tossed around out there is, uh, you know, you do a you do a little ticket bleed per flag. So if you, it rewards teams that if they attack or they they hold all the objectives, I mean the ticket bleed becomes much larger. You know. So it looks like Sings and they might be giving up that that fob search. Possible contact to your south squad for. We're at 53 tickets right now. Right, right. that will move to intersect. Rush just spotted. Rush just spotted Sangs and his crew. He just called it up to uh, to Rogue Grenade. So they're, they're tracking. There's a whole squad on top of him to the south. So right now they're watching that direction. It's about All to right, be a Rossi has here. made the compound. Rossi's got to the compound. He's got a whole squad in there that he's about to have to worry about real quickly. But they're on the opposite side of this uh, this area. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if Gully. Oh, oh, they're tracking now. There's only one person left alive uh, from the militia inside Northtown, so if they get that guy back, they can start taking back that point. Absolutely. Oh. Their squad looks like the, they just dropped another fob in the northwest. Militia did. It's gonna be a very good spawn point for them. All right, Rossi just went down. He tried to get in there. He didn't see uh, CMB Elite.
One thing, uh, I don't know if it's the same on your side, but I'm noting, noticing because these guys aren't clans together, um, they're not talking as much on, like, commander comms. Yeah, I'm hearing that too. Is it the same on that side? Yeah, yeah. I'm not hearing much, uh, much squad lead comms. Very little. So, I mean, that's stark contrast to how much different it is when these guys play together. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, clan on clan. That fob that's going to be pushing, that fob that Melissa just placed to the northwest is, uh, it's going to be vital. Getting guys into the defend mark. What's that? What's your tickets at? Your tickets are at 52. 105. 105, yep. Boy, I can't wait. I think even our announcing is going to be immensely better when we have overlays while we're watching it, you know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine, Omar, too, like being in, it, like, say at a certain point you go so high in the air, you see an overlay on what the capable zone is, you know what I mean? So you can specifically tell what they're fighting over, too. Right. You know, and then you can say, all right, so here's here's the zone, so you get inside here, this is what you're capping, you know, I, I man, it'll just, it'll be nice. Militia just kicking ass and taking names that's over that's here. That. Wiping out, just spawn in after spawn in of Americans. These guys are getting taken out pretty quick down here to the south. The west part of the map over here. Well, so, I can't tell if Dipsis over here is like basically watching them come out of Maine. I think it's kind of bullshit if he's going to sit there and just watch them come out. He's running back. Now, a viable tactic for them is it's going to take some coordination for the U.S., but trying to place anybody coming out of their main, coming out of U.S. main from that, that, that ridge line that comes out of it towards uh, North Town, you know what I'm talking about? Try to place anybody there. They're gonna they're gonna be seen very easily from uh, right from there. Be skylining in that sun. Right. So placing a few people up there and trying to draw their fire, putting some rounds on them, and make them think that there's gonna be a massive push from up there, and then fainting guys to their southeast where there's nobody where Techno's at right now. Be a very viable option because there's nothing down there. Of course right. they don't know that. But trying things one way, keep trying things one way, and it doesn't work. You probably should try another way. So. Yeah, that frontal assault yeah. is, is pretty deadly. I mean, it's it's a couple of trees, you know. You're coming in right. from high ground, you're skylining, and if they come in through through where Techno's going and they have all that defilade from the buildings and whatnot, and it's a pretty quick access point to get right into the uh, to the flag. That'd be a, the, the other great example of, of using the rolls, especially with an AR. You put an AR coming out of their main, and he doesn't necessarily have to see anybody to shoot, to, to, you know, have a reason to shoot. You start putting a whole bunch of rounds from that hillside out of their main into North Town. I think that's um, what a lot of people don't, uh, I, I, you know, you see a lot of people that don't use the AR properly, and they think that they have to put concentrated fire on, like, a single body, and it's like, that's no. not the point of that weapon. That right. weapon is just intimidation, almost, you know what I mean? Like, right. I, you hear that thing going off, all those bullets flying into an area, and it's essentially get the hell out of there. Right. You know, exactly like you said, for. you don't even have to be looking at anybody. Just say, oh, they're generally north at 65 or whatever. Shoot okay, I'm gonna put bullets there. Yeah. Right. That would be that would be key actually coming out of their main right there. If they put a couple guys with ARs, just explosives, just keep shooting into that compound from there. They're gonna make it. It's gonna scare the militia pretty well. Um, they could. And they're well, gonna start so focusing in that direction. Look, the, a bunch of them are up in the north. I, I'd like to see grenadier firing. Down on that north town inside of there too. So if you got a little Overwatch from your Grenadier and your AR, yeah. you know you might be able to clear them out a little bit. Use his optics. They've got those ACOGs as well. And this hill, this southern hilltop that CKY and Rossi's on right there, it looks north. It's a very good position to, to put that. Like you said, Grenadier rounds, put 40 mic mics and AR in there. Thanks. So I'm at uh, 39 tickets. 98. Get them to hunker down, they won't be able to move. You put those blinders on them, and you can just maneuver on them all you want and get to the position you want to get into. 
Do we trade. want to do the same mat next, or let's try maybe try a different one? I mean, yeah, I'm down for it. Whatever, we can just ask them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bounce. I'm actually running late already. All right. No probs. The Rossi, the Rossi, I don't think we've covered. Uh, we have not covered OP first light yet. No, we haven't. So I, I wouldn't mind doing that one next, just so that because uh, we're doing that match next week. I know that yeah. map very well. Looks like Rossi is looking for their fob down there. Yeah, he said a fob was found. But I'm excited. I'm excited for the future when they start implementing their uh, tweaks to these maps and how they're conquered so that you know again we're, we're at a point right now there's no ticket bleed so there's no there's no reason that the entire u.s team should just descend on the uh you know their cap flag right rossi just said he's taking down the fob yeah they are got it i heard they I heard the militia pretty bad op first light's got some very good terrain very good Avenues, very good advantageous terrain that kind of controls whole sections. Like I like I showed you. I think the that board. map could uh, could become one of the fan fate. They're all good maps, but that one, that map's intense, man. I mean, think about it when it starts getting flushed out more. All right, all right I'm gonna roll out. All right, Doc. All right, brother. Yep. Take it easy. We'll do it again, yep. my man. Yep, yep. I'll be back tonight. If you want to do some more stuff later, I'm down with that. Yeah, we can do some stuff tonight for sure. I, I'm, yep. I'm around, so... Okay, sweet. Uh, Rusty, you said you'd be around later tonight too, right? Yeah, later. Be yeah. back like 5-ish my time. So, yeah, 5 is central. Alright, brother. Yep. Later. Yeah, we're down to 85 tickets over here. Yeah, we're 37, okay. so... It'll, uh... You know, we'll keep working it. And I think... You know, back to the meta. Um, you know, we'll, we'll start. The, the more that you and I or whoever else is announcing, you know, I think it's almost a chemistry thing, too, between us, between whoever else we bring in here that starts learning how to, you know, balance off each other and, and cover and highlight things. But, uh, you know, one of the things a second ago you guys were talking and um, – Commander comms just lit up for a second over here, and it's like, I couldn't hear you guys at all, hardly. You know what I mean? With highlighting the yeah. fact that I think the quickest way to fix that is that you get tickets on the top center of the map or of, of the screen for both teams. Then we could, uh, with that, you and I could be on the same team because we know the ticket scores to both sides. Right, yeah. And we both know when to shut up. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. But right now, I have your guys could be talking, and I have no idea. Yeah, it happened the same over here a couple times. Gotcha. I think it, 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 I'll go ahead and say it. It didn't help us a little bit that we're both kind of hung over today. <laughs> oh, I know, right? I'm just kind of sitting uh, here like, just uh, like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, when we start getting to real matches, though, we can't do that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we, no way. Like, we, we, like, I'll have to go to bed decent time and, you know, because remember, I'll be in Korea. So a lot of the matches that I'll, I'll cover in Korea will be Sunday morning for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's rough. It's game day. But if I go to bed, I, but if I go to bed early enough, it'll be all right. I don't really care. And I can always go to bed afterwards. So it's, it's whatever. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I was shutting up for a little bit of there, just listening to Doc talk. And it's just kind of, man, he's, he's good. He knows his stuff. He's, he's he's a pretty sweet uh, commentator, I think. Yeah, well, and you know, f for him being his first time, he'll uh, he'll start getting better too. Yeah, I'm really excited Jeez. to get Blitz in here because uh, we need we, we need we need other nationalities to start coming in yep. to the mix. You know what I mean? Um, Just the big bloody American wankers. Uh, it's f fucking bloody Americans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> But no, we, we definitely need to start getting... I, I like that, that idea, Chronic, you know, initially kind of started going out there. But uh, I, I think our 
one of our best options is bringing in a lot of the clan members. Smoke is, out, smoke out, smoke out. Is announced oh, huh. at least once they can have this guy represent us. Guys. They know how to talk about the Do game and all that crap, you know? Right. Share stock, share stock. Got you, mate. Because at the same time, if, if we were to bring on somebody that's never played in these matches, they don't know what the intensity is, what the. Ah, uh, this is what they're thinking right now, you know. But if we bring in clan people that are in these, you know, holy crap, they can just they go, yeah, when we played this match last time, this oh, is kind head, of what oh, happens. Head, 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 head. And, you know, I think that'll only benefit us big time. Right, absolutely. And show that they're part of the team, too, you know oh, what I mean? Which is a big God. thing to me. Ten. All right, they're coming in. We're down. Oh, here we go. Let's just try to get back. Yeah. Ted is in a pretty bad place right now. It's like all these guys stuffed in this building shooting at him, and he's pretty much locked in that little <laughs> corner. Yeah, I see them waiting for him. Right I heard, I heard Russ building. yelling. I think he was telling him, Ted, don't go in there. Ted, don't go in there. Ted, Ted, Ted. And Ted <laughs> runs in. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Yeah. They have them. I, like, uh, I like watching uh, Russ play. He, uh, he's a character, man. Oh, he is a character, yeah. He's fun to play with, man. He definitely is fun to play with. He's the he's the embodiment of the Redcoats. <laughs> he is, man. The, the loudmouth, arrogant Redcoats. <laughs> well, but then, too, like, he, he plays it as if it's almost almost real, you know what I mean? Like, oh, absolutely. Oh, my God, right there. And you're just like, it's funny, okay, man. Right there. Yeah, a good way funny, not like, I, oh, he's funny, like, I'm an he's asshole saying that. <laughs> Oh, oh he, fucking uh, cops! Got cap oh, oh, he's on the corner. <laughs> was he peeked his head around one oh, quick time. Yeah, man. you should have heard him on Here local. Should have heard him on local. Oh I'm man. What do you say? I I don't even know what it. it something fucking cock locker. I don't even. <laughs> something. You know. Hey, Ted is working his way in there. He yeah, is, yeah. Right. Stacking bodies. Oh, he's down right here. Nope. Oh, he's still up. Nope. There he was. Asifal gets him with that AR. But he, yeah, he goes. What else? Uh, the overhead here. Yeah, I'm just pulling up. The so we got some of ours coming out. Uh, they're still messing around in Maine. We've got 70 yes. tickets left. What are you at? 23. Yeah, okay. So we're getting down to it. Yeah. What about these like... guys getting too close to uh to Maine though? It's like, yeah. come on, guys, don't you know? Yeah, they're peeking over that hill where they have a complete view of the spawn. Kind of where Ted and Russ are. They've got that fob up there. And they're just kind of coming in. But I think Rossi sees that because he's flanking out to the north. Like hard out to the north. To the base of that mountain. And he's coming back looking for Because he knows there's a fob up there. I had to put that, man. You, you can't just sit there and pull right up next to the main. Yeah, I think it's once you get to that last attack flag. It's really, you know, you're just kind of sitting there. You can't really push further than that. No, you can't, and but I, I think largely, you know, everyone knows that, that bond camping Maine when you get there is just bad form. You know what I mean? Like, right. just, I'm not saying you just openly let them flank you or anything like that. Cause right. There's, yeah. There's the balance, but you don't just sit there and pull right up next to Maine and just start fucking watching it. Yeah, that's just one of those accepted rules that I think we all uh, try to abide yeah. by. Well, so I think Taxi has mentioned, Iron Taxi has mentioned um, having a an area where you can't shoot into or whatever on the mains. So, for instance, if somebody shot a grenade inside main, it wouldn't do anything to Right, you, like you a safe I mean? zone? Yeah, like a safe zone. There you go. Okay. Just went down. Yeah, I got downed. I thought the guy in the building was dead. Looks like Rossi and those guys up there found the fob. They up there trying to take it out? Yeah. So, oh, you know why they're probably trying to take it out? Why it's so important right now? Is the ticket loss for probably. taking down a fob. Yeah. Because it, 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 at least in the skirmish variant right now, taking down the northern flag does nothing. Right. It does nothing. You know what I mean? Right. It's not stopping a ticket bleed. It's not giving them tickets back it's not taking tickets away so then it becomes nope you move on to the, the fobs and now you can turn tickets right yeah we see that a lot late game 
uh, squads chasing after those fobs because it's just easy points at that. You know, if you know where a fob is and you can get a squad on top of it and take it out, you know that's easy points. Yep. And that's 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 crucial for late match because at that point you're just struggling for uh, you're trading kills for kills. You know, ticket for ticket. Yep. But I, I tell you what, it's changing soon. You know what I mean? Oh, they're, absolutely. They're, yeah, there's I, so I, much that's going to change. After talking with Taxi and Z Trooper and all those guys, that they don't. You want the objectives to be imp like almost the most important. You know, not. I mean, fobs are important, and they're they're big. They're they're important in the, the instance of you you prevent being attacked from certain angles, and you have to make them to redeploy from a whole other location. But. Um, but with flags being the objective, this whole match right now would be totally different oh, if they were worried about flags. Yep. Yeah, you would see completely different tactics being employed to go after those flags. Uh, that North Town right now, everyone would be battling on North Town. North Town is being lost. <laughs> Still going down slowly. The name of that... that Cat flag or defend flag for you is Northtown, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Someone, there are so many people in there, I can't like move my mouse over it to see. Yeah. It. Yeah. Rogue's talking now. He's saying Northtown's going down. So one thing I'm, <clears throat> I'd like to see with, uh, like when we do the map overlay or that when they do the overlays when we're streaming like this and show, um, like if you look at the flag, like so, I I, I think it'd be cool to show this flag. But if, if, like, a cam looks at the flag, it should say the name of, over the flag of that town. You know what I mean? Right. So then you would just, you'd pee yeah, up, you'd pee up, you'd look at the flag, say, all right, they're in there, we'll come right down now, help you, they found this fob, so and they're going to be hitting it. You know, if the yeah, push copy. starts we, on the middle defended. flag, you look We're at the okay middle flag, and you go, okay, now they're pushing on, uh, all right, what's the next, north central, and then south central, and south town. Yeah. Chaps eye. All right, we're at 14. All right, so getting down to it. Are we doing yep. a second uh, second map? Uh, let me ask that real quick. Not sure if these guys are feeling it. We'll see. I think it's early for most people. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm good with a break. Yeah, I'm good with a break. We're losing North Town. Do you want to just bad. post this on YouTube or do you want to just post it or stream it later? Um, well, we can we can do both. Um, I'm recording and I can stream it later, um, or just upload it to YouTube. Um, but I mean, might as well throw it on Twitch. I mean, it's not it's not gonna hurt. It's not like it's an announcement. Yeah. Matter. It's not like we're drawing an audience in to watch it. It's just a scrimmage, you know. But it's good to keep it. We haven't live streamed in a while, so I feel like, uh, throw something up on the weekend is probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> when the shit goes down and Russ starts screaming, he can't even like make out what he's saying. He just starts <laughs> just starts screaming. How have you seen? He's got like four thousand followers on Twitch. Oh yeah, he's yeah he's he's pretty uh he's pretty established over there. He's got quite a following. I, I think that's cool, man. Like I I I, I want to get more of these clan guys to stream, you know, because I I. I want us to have, I want our our own squad streamers to come out. You know what I mean? Not like, 
not the big dogs are like, oh, you know, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw Squad a bone real quick, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go stream it today because I'm so right. cool. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. You know, I, I want to see our guys that are in these clans, dreaming that, that becomes famous themselves, but also makes their clans famous. That's to me be the shit. Yeah. Because I mean, what we offer is so unique with this kind of uh, this this cam, this commentating, and all that stuff. All the stuff that we do, it, it offers a unique perspective at the competitive look and the tactics uh, that these clans employ during the game. But you know, at the end of the day, people are you know even myself, I like watching that that first person camera um, and, and you know like falling into a uh, like a character. You know, being able to watch Russ UK on Twitch, I could sit there and watch that guy for for hours just sitting there screaming his head off and yelling around and playing the game so yeah no, it's, it's good to see those characters come out and i think we're going to see a lot more of that as people get you know get uh, more comfortable with twitch and, and you know streaming in oh general. yeah i mean I, I think we're in a whole new game of our guys trying to um and when i say our guys i mean just all the clans trying to all right well, you know let's start getting in this let's start doing that yeah. you know i i, I think blitza would be great at streaming you know he hadn't done it so i'm trying to talk his ass into doing it too i'm sure russ is also but uh rossi frick rossi raider be great to stream oh yeah you know <laughs> but uh doc east would be great to stream now he's you know if he does more matches with us but he'd be great but uh i tell you what though but for me and you or any future announcers if we if we have the ability like iron taxi was saying in our last after match party was uh the ability to um, switch from squad lead to squad lead, like you go on GoPro and then you get their cams. Right. I mean, that is a game Take changer a right back. there. Oh, absolutely. Being able to go, all right, boom, let's go in there, and like let's let's watch. Uh, oh shit, Russ, Russ is getting ready to friendly, friendly, uh, friendly, assault friendly, this objective. Let's go here and watch it live as yeah. he goes yeah. in. That's you know, and then oh well. Need. Uh, Iron X Bay is defending. Let's go into oh, him yeah. real quick, and we can watch what he's dealing with, trying to defend this assault. You know. Yeah, and if it's just. I mean, a, oh, it'll be so good. Just a click of a button too, and it, it zooms right to them. I mean, that's the the production value just goes up immensely from there. You focus less on less on having to operate this like camera on you know marbles more skates or less on ice skates. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you focus less on less on that and more on the actual game, more on the tactics and talking. Trying to get the audience engaged. Definitely. Uh, it, you know, I <clears throat> I think it would be... What what I want to see, too, is... So when we zoom out <clears throat> all the way, you just see all triangles and nothing more. But... <laughs> yeah. It, uh, hold on. Rossi's yelling. I can't hear. <laughs> uh, it, it, what I want to see, though, is... You, doing icons in a way where when we zoom out... I can say, okay, there's the medic, there's the SVD, there's the AR guy, there's the squad lead. So even the very nature of looking down on this, uh, we are filled with all sorts of information of what's happening. So what we were talking about with Doc East earlier, if, if, if a squad lead says, hey, let's get the AR, let's get the grid deer up on that ridge, let's start doing it. Well, I can be half a map away, look over there and go, all right, it looks like they've got the AR and the, uh, the Grenadier raining down in from over there. But right. right now, all I see is Redcoat, CKY, uh, Grumpy, and I have no clue what kits they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, good job. Yeah. yeah. I was pretty close. I mean, we were down to like 24 tickets over here. So I don't know. You guys were, I mean, still, that's like not a big margin to be winning by. I thought it was going to be a little bit. Yeah, more I'm, of a I'm, runaway than that. I'm out of that now. 